In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus CuCl2, silver nitrate plus copper 2 chloride. The first thing we do with ionic equations is we balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. As I look at it, I have two nitrates here and only one here. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the silver nitrate. Now I have two silver atoms and only one here. So I'll just put a 2 here. That gives me two silver, but it gives me two chlorine atoms. That's good because I have two here and I have one copper, one copper. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. Silver nitrate, if you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. So we're going to write AQ. This will dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Chlorides as well, very soluble. Put an AQ. We have another nitrate. That'll be aqueous. But this silver chloride, this is an exception. We said chlorides in general are soluble. Silver chloride is not soluble. So that means that it's going to be a solid. If it's not soluble, it's not dissolved, it's a solid. In fact, when these two substances react, this is produced as a precipitate. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube. So we have the states. Next, we can split the strong electrolytes into the ions. That'll give us a complete ionic equation. So strong electrolytes have AQ after them here. We look at silver nitrate. Silver, although it's a transition metal, it always has a one plus charge. And the entire nitrate, that's always a one minus. Good to remember. So we have two silver ions. And I won't write the states until the end. And then we have two nitrate ions. For the copper, this is a transition metal. We really don't know the charge on it. It's ionic charge. But we have to look at what it's bonded to. Chlorine. That forms 1 minus ions. So I have two chlorines, that's 2 minus. Copper has to be 2 plus, which is why we were calling it copper 2 earlier. So we have Cu2 plus, the copper 2 ion, plus we have two of these chloride ions. And those are the reactants. For the products, we know that the nitrate here, we said that's a 1 minus. We have two of them, so we need a 2 plus here. So in the products, we'll have Cu2 plus, that copper 2 ion, plus our two nitrates. And then for the silver chloride, because that's a solid, in net ionic equations, we do not split solids apart. That's just going to be 2AgCl stays together. This is our complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. In fact, they haven't really changed, so we're not interested in them. I can see I have two nitrate ions here in the reactants and two in the products cross those out. I can see I have the copper 2 ion here, copper 2 ion, cross that out. But everything else, that's unique, and that makes up our net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus CuCl2. I'll clean this up and add the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus copper 2 chloride. You'll notice we have coefficients 2, 2, 2. We can reduce that to a lower number, to 1, 1, 1. We don't write the 1s. And this will give us a more compact net ionic equation. Notice, too, we have a positive and a negative. They cancel out, give us a neutral product. And we have one silver atom, one silver atom, one chlorine, one chlorine. So that's balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.